In 2023, the very first inductee in the 2023 WWE Hall of Fame has been announced. And it's none other than the five foot three inch luchador sensation, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio debuted as Rey Mysterio Jr. He made his way into the United States via AAA and Lucha Libre in Mexico with his first foray in the States in ECW under Paul Heyman's direction. Had some absolutely incredible matches. He had a series, three matches with Psychosis that still stand up today as incredible matches. I actually watched last year through those three. That series was unbelievable. And it was through that work, Ray was seen as a little kid-looking guy. He was so thin, he hadn't really packed on any of the muscle that he did. And he didn't have any of the character development that he was able to develop over the years. But nobody jumped and moved like Rey Mysterio. Of course, Rey ended up going to WCW and revolutionizing the cruiserweight division. And then eventually made his way to WWE and was seen as some kind of a giant killer. And eventually won the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania in a three-way. And he has really honestly led a Hall of Fame level career. Of course, recently, his son, Dominic, who kind of started off extremely green and was kind of a generic white meat baby face, turned heel and has really, really come into his own. I would say that Dominic Mysterio right now is like my favorite heel to watch on the WWE roster. Just a genuine, hateable heel. And he's doing a wonderful, wonderful job with his, his union with Rhea Ripley. I'm excited because I've heard a lot of rumors that Rey Mysterio and Dominic were finally going to have that one-on-one -on -one match against each other at WrestleMania this year, and that there was talk about it being mask versus career. So I am curious, does he drop the character of the evil heel and be there for the Hall of Fame ceremony and support his father? Or, like we've seen in a lot of great social media videos that WWE has been using, using excellently, by the way, they've been promoting these several angles at these holidays where Dominic and Rhea have shown up and given the family a hard time, including Dominic going to jail and then becoming a hardened prisoner after, uh, after being in for like two days in the county <laughs> jail. So, uh, including with like the little the little tattoo on the cheek like he killed somebody. So with that being said, I'd like to get your opinion, gentlemen. What do you think? Are they going to run another angle? Is he going to drop the character and the storyline for the Hall of Fame? Or do you see them doing something where he might come out and try to embarrass or humiliate or run an angle at Hall of Fame? There's never been an angle at a Hall of Fame, and I think now would be the time to do so, is to have him come out and try to, like, Give his give flowers to his father, you know, give a little props to him, only to turn on him and beat the crap out of him and embarrass him, running an angle for a match that'll take place the following night or two nights later at WrestleMania. What do you think, Charles? You are a big fan of Rey Mysterio. I know you actually had a mask at one point, one of the replicas of his mask. There's a few pictures running around. Uh, on MySpace, I think, that have Charles with the uh, Rey Mysterio mask. Uh, go ahead and Google that, kids. It's an old social media app. So, Charles, uh, what do you think? Are they going to run any kind of an angle? Do you see Dominic and Ray finally having that one-on-one -on -one encounter and allowing Ray to not only lose the mask to his son, but helping his son and passing the torch to the next generation? Well, that one is tricky. Uh, you're right. Uh, I, I'm sure there's pictures floating around somewhere with me with my mask. I actually used to live in the same town with him. He's in Chula Vista. And I was actually I used to live down in San Diego County for a number of years. And he was, of course, just a local legend there in town. And uh, but yeah, I you know, it's very tricky when it comes to the Hall of Fame, because obviously that's just a uh, something showing the appreciation of all the the person's life work and you know everybody comes together and just you know obviously you know gives the the appropriate accolades and so forth so 
I think it's a bit tricky. I don't know that they want to do an angle <laughs> that I might that might be much, a little too much, uh, you know, just because it's it, it's it, it's an event. It's what it is in terms of a special moment. And, you know, those things with the advent of social media and, you know, and all the recording devices and everything that will live forever. So does the WWE want his Hall of Fame moment 10 years from now where people are like, holy cow, this guy got beat up by, you know, it's just, <laughs> they, they may do something, but I think that they're going to do it in a way that doesn't take away from the Hall of Fame moment. They may do something in the end, but I think they'll be very tactful on how they do it. Uh, but either way, the guy's been around for a long time. He deserves it. He's certainly revolutionized it. I mean, you look at his size and you, you, you would immediately think, oh, this guy can't compete against, you know, the bigger guys and everything. But he's just a, a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, worker. And uh, he's, you know, he's a, he's a top level star. And so however they do it, I think the WWE is smart enough to figure out that they'll be very tactful on the thing. So. Very much, very much. So as we look forward to Rey Mysterio uh, being inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame while still currently a WWE superstar, uh, Scott, of all the moments, uh, the world titles and everything else that has happened over the last uh, 20 plus years of, of Rey Mysterio's career in the United States that we've all watched and uh, cheered him on. Is there one moment that stands out for you as the moment that you'll never forget or like the coolest moment of Rey Mysterio's career? There are actually two moments. You and I were talking earlier off camera before the show and the one thing that I remember like it was yesterday was when he was in WCW and Kevin Nash literally picked him up and lawn darted him headfirst into the side of a trailer. He, he hit so hard that I thought he was going to stick, but he didn't. <laughs> he went to the ground. So, so that is, it's an iconic moment. And if you've seen it, you'll never forget it. You should Google it. It's, it's a great, great moment. And the other thing that I remember is Eric Bischoff had Ray lose his mask. Eric Bischoff was not a fan of masks. He thought that was for the luchadors. And it was not for American wrestling. And Ray had to lose his mask, which is unfortunate because in the Mexican luchador culture, that is it's almost like giving up your firstborn you just don't do it they will wear their ask to restaurants for god's sakes they'll wear them to doctor's appointments Showers. if they want to be seen in public they're wearing their mask they'll be buried so in their the masks things. Yeah, I'm sorry, like, Charles? they'll be buried in their masks yeah 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 so those are the two things i remember as far as the wwe hall of fame I would love to right now just cut a heel promo and say Dominic's going to come out. He's going to just beat the living hell out of his father. He's, and they're going to cut promos and it's just going to be a nightmare. A lot like when Bret Hart was there. So if you guys remember that one, oh, yeah, so, tackled, but no, yeah. I think Ray Mysterio much deserved, richly deserved. Uh, so as far as Ray Mysterio, the world's biggest little man, we uh, we just salute you. What an awesome career. I hope that we see a whole lot more. And I know that you are phenomenal and we're excited for you. We'll be cheering you on at the Hall of Fame because 619, it's not just an area code. It's a way of life. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Suplex City Wrestling Podcast. If you'd like to send in questions for the show, we've got a few. We just haven't had an opportunity to get to them next week on the show. We will pull out one of those out of the hat. All right. Uh, you can also reach me on Twitter at JJ Purdom. Scott, where can they reach you at? You can find me on Twitter at Scott underscore Falder. Or for those who forget, like JJ, it's suplexcitypod at gmail.com. Uh, Charles, where can they reach you at on social media sites? A very simple location, Charles C. Marquez. All right. And if you guys wanted to reach out to us on all social media sites, we're literally everywhere. You can catch us on 
Instagram, on Twitter at Suplex City Pod. Of course, like I said, if you want to reach out to us via email at suplexcitypod at gmail.com. And if you are listening to this on a podcast reader, you can see these beautiful faces by going over to youtube.com forward slash at Suplex City Pod. We appreciate y'all being here. Want to see you again right here in the center of the ring.